Hi, it's Paul from TraderFifth.com, and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday, the 14th of March. So I'm looking at Wix, W-I-X, on the daily time frame. I have chosen this from one of my, I think, 20 signals that have gone out today on my stock swing trading analysis and alert video for our membership here. Uh, this was also on our stock signals membership on the downloadable spreadsheets each day for potential fifth wave moves. Uh, so it came up in two of our memberships today, Wix. Um, I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim training platform, which is available from TraderFifth.com only. Uh, it's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and MultiChart. So let's talk about this this fourth wave. So the catalyst for this fourth wave pullback was earnings. So we got an all-time high on Wix just before earnings. We had a nice bullish move up. Our indicator suite um, automatically labels that the one, two, the big impulse leg wave three. Then we had earnings. So we had the gap down. Uh, we had a tried to move away from that gap, but it failed. And then we've come back down for a wave four. Okay, so we've had some profit taking since earnings, and we are looking for that to hold. We look left at the moment. I've drawn on this big support and resistance zone. So see these A and B pivots here holding. So this also coincides now support for the wave four. So we've pulled back on the wave four. How do we measure that with our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite to, to ensure we've got a high probability trade? So the first thing is the wave four pullback. This has found support right at the bottom of our amber zone. OK, the amber zone represents an 80 percent probability. If that support is found and we start to move away, 80 percent probability is going to hit our automated target zone up here around about 132 dollars there. Uh, the next is the behavior of the wave four. So we look at the 535 oscillator here and we pull back between 90 and 140 percent. We've just started to crown as well. So looking very good. The next, the middle of the two sub charts is our false breakout stochastic. Uh, we've got a big yellow line at the top there in the overbought zone denoting a very strong bullish trend. Now, when the stochastic pulls back against there in the overbought zone, oversold zone, sorry, and crosses back over, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So we've got a really great setup here. Uh, a multiple time frame dot cloud at the bottom, which is part of our uh, uh, black box breakout indicator suite uh, shows us as well our key trend on the weekly time frame here is green right at the bottom there on the four day we're green on the three day we're green two day we're still in the cloud and on this daily we can see we are in our EMA cloud as well so looking good that's how the pullback looks back on our multiple time frame dot cloud as well so building up all this confidence now there's a couple of ways we can look at the entry strategy here. Our normal entry strategy is outside of this 6-4 moving average high here, which is part of our earlier wave indicator suite. So for today's bar position, we could be ultra, ultra uh, aggressive and look for a, an entry above $110. Now, the reason why I haven't done that is the last three days we've rejected highs around about $110. Okay, so $110. 10986 10960 so the last 3 days we've rejected those highs yesterday we rejected those highs on low volume uh, denoted by this uh, cyan uh, candle here. So we want to make sure that we, we can push through that short term resistance zone that we've got. So I've gone for an entry at 111.17 here, which is way outside the 6.4 moving average high for today's bar position, but gives us that extra dollar grace, if you like, um, to get through this short term resistance zone that we seem to have formed. Now, the, even with this conservative entry, our risk reward is way over uh, you know, it's around about one to three, one to three point five here. I just got the one to two to show you that we are uh, 200 percent profit times risk on our risk reward to this all time high. So even with a reasonably conservative entry strategy, um, using all the tools we've got within our indicator suite, which proposes a really good, strong um, 
probability strategy, if you like, uh, that even to this high, we've got a great risk to reward. So if it does push through that and we get some momentum going, we've got a fantastic trade. If not, we've still got a very, very profitable trade up to these all time highs. So we are looking for that gap close and we are looking for some uh, bullish momentum. So very simply, fifth wave trade, highest probability move in a trend. OK, whether that's long or short this time. We're on a short, we're on a long trend, sorry. We've moved out of this range, strong move up. Earnings weren't too great. We've had some profit taking since then, and we're looking for that profit taking to find support. Seems to have done that so far. So now with our earlier wave indicator suite, we've used all our tools to get that uh, entry strategy for that potential high probability move on Wix on the daily time frame. Now Daily time frame, if you're options trading, uh, once it gets above $111, you are looking for probably a 30 day type um, expiry on this. Maybe uh, towards the end of April would be sensible because there's a long way to go to that ultimate target of $132 there. But in reality, $126 near the previous high is the sort of um, price. Uh, initially that we'll be looking for. So that's it. Very, very simple using our early wave indicator suite and just showing you an example from our swing trading membership and our stock signals membership on Wix on the daily time frame. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.